after a tumultuous journey to passage. The Petroleum Industry Act isn't done with its journey. Its implementation will be the true test of a bill which ended its 20-year journey in 2021. The bid to get it right is why stakeholders in Nigeria's upstream oil and gas industry, the Ministry of Petroleum and host communities are gathered in this room. This first phase of the stakeholders' engagement will capture robust discussions. We capture robust discussions around issues dealing with royalty, licensing rents, fees and renters, only issues on the implementation of host community fund in line with section 235 of the PIA. The regulations to be discussed include the Nigerian upstream fee and rent regulations, domestic gas delivery obligations, Nigeria conversion regulations, Nigeria royalty and host communities regulations. You will all agree that effective regulations are key to harnessing the gains of the BIA and government has a mandate of ensuring sound management of the oil and gas sector, considering the key role the sector plays in the revenue generation profile of the country. Over the years, the most contentious areas in negotiations were those concerning host communities. Clarifying the grey areas is of utmost importance to most present here. Paragraph 4 of the draft host communities regulations, which deals with the limiting of the determination of area of operation to only surface area of leases and licenses may be fraught with unlimited range of complications. Therefore, to avoid possible incalculable mischief that may cause unmanageable conflicts and insecurity, area of operation should simply be based on the area covered by the lease or license covering both surface and non-surface areas within the map of the lease or license. The limited area of operation to surface areas appears to serve no useful purpose. Senator Deggy also noted the inability of stakeholders, mostly in impoverished host communities, to attend virtual meetings to save cost as stipulated. For the National Technical Committee Chairman for Oil and Gas Producing Host Communities, priority should be given to issues affecting host communities. The entire exercise is all about host communities. And if the gray areas like the Senate Chairman on House Committee for Host Communities has stressed, if it is not well addressed, we are talking of oil theft, we are talking of at um, artisanal refineries, it's going, to, it's going to affect the country's petroleum productivity. Other members agree. The organized community groups like HOSCOM should be part and parcel of the decision-making body at the highest echelon. They should look for those veteran you know, experts, like some of us, and get involved so that those who will not go there to loot. A lot of bill has been signed into acts. We have the one that established NDDC. We have the one that established the 13 percent derivation that this act should take care of the host communities where oil are being produced. But at the end of the day, looking at the duration when some of this bill has been signed into act up to now, there is nothing, little or nothing to show. At the end of the two-day summit, it is expected that the stakeholders will formulate a draft which will balance Nigeria's interests alongside those of the global markets.